We're just at the maintainer booth checking out the lube truck. That's a lot of pumps though. They're all gear pumps, eh? I like their drawers, eh? Oh, I brought my tape measure so I can measure everything up. It's all about cubic inches, baby. Oh, that's deep. It's like 22 inches deep. I'm not actually gonna measure all of them. I don't have time for that. I gotta see what they actually cost versus just buying a service truck, because I'd rather have something that can kind of do everything and get like a loop skid for the back than to just have a dedicated loop truck, because I don't think we have enough work for just, just lubrications. Just lubing people up. So the idea of having, obviously having electric tools isn't new, but the idea of that you can be able to organize it. So we made these tool organizers and battery organizers so you can easily access your tools. We do have the inverters that we put into the trucks, basically create a whole charging station for you to organize your tools, other than just having it thrown in the bottom and dig out what you need. Yeah, This okay. is way, way more efficient. And do you guys offer a lot of this stuff as like just standalone pieces you can add in and add into any chassis kind of thing or? We do, we have a whole yeah. uh, maintainer accessory products. We actually are selling a bunch of them online at servicetruckaccessories.com. Okay. You can buy the dual lock drawer sets, you can buy the charging stations. Okay. And we have the bolt bins. Servicetruckaccessories.com. Servicetruckaccessories.com. We custom make pretty much all of them. Okay. So customers can get anything from three inches to 12 inches, whatever height's gonna work best for the tools. Yeah. Uh, our drawer sets lock in and they lock out, which is nice when you're working on the, on the job site. We call our kind of our standard version a hybrid service truck because okay. really it's galvanized steel, yeah. but we have aluminum doors. Really a third of the truck between the doors, the shelving, and all that is aluminum. Yeah. So we kind of call it a hybrid service truck. Um, that's been popular. And then yeah. I can certainly show you the all aluminum version over yeah, here too. Yeah, for sure, yeah. So we brought two aluminum trucks. The lube truck we have over there is all aluminum as well. Okay. In fact, this is a little bit bigger version than the first one we came out with the last Con Expo. And then this one, we call it aluminum. The crane is still a steel crane. Yeah. But otherwise, uh, the rest of it's all aluminum body. This is a 19.5 GVW. The whole thing loaded up as it is is 14,100 pounds. You still have 5,400 pounds of available payload, so. What's the weight on this guy? Is this a comparable body or is this gonna be a little bit bigger yep, than this? Yep, it's comparable. So 23,000 GVW. 15,560 pounds is the weight loaded up, not the loop skid. Yeah, but, minus the loop minus skid. Minus the loop skid. Okay. But there's still 7,440 pounds of available payload. Yeah. So the aluminum truck does run, you know, seven to $9,000 more, but you don't have the corrosion, uh, yeah. all sorts of benefits, the lighter weight. How do you guys uh, do the crane structure on the aluminum ones? As we build all of our trucks, we basically yeah. build this so the okay. support is included in with the whole sub okay. subframe, if you will. It's not just its own support here. The whole thing is structured yeah. to support the crane. Plus the crane, these size is our advanced crane control as well. So okay. basically you have some stability built into it. So yeah. you're not gonna tip over your truck or anything. It's not gonna let you do it if you try to yeah. lift too heavy of a load. Okay, That's sweet. all built in. I like the uh, little safety we, step we've there. Added, That's kind of nice. We kind of led the way with the side step yeah. on the workbench bumper. And then just this with our new model year, we're now going with the yellow on all the step and the handles on the three point contact. Yeah. So. Oh, that's nice. Definitely safety in mind. We spend a lot of time getting up in the back of the truck sometimes, so having like good access is definitely up there, and it's often overlooked. Um, the other thing we still have on the aluminum bodies as well as our um, patented pressurized storage system. Okay. So we're actually blowing air through the compartments. So you actually feel it if it was if the truck was on, you'd feel it pushing against you. Okay. And basically that blows mm -hmm. out the dust and the moisture while you're driving down the road. Yeah. Keeps your tools clean. Okay. So. And you can fit a full-size oxygen, oxygen bottle in there. Bottle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so you got a little bit of a bump there. Yeah, no, it's a nice truck. I also, one thing I do like about these versus a lot of the others is the uh, infinite adjustability on your uh, shelves. Oh, Cause that's yep. something that you get like a three inch thing to go. And I mean, it's little stuff, but you know, I, I run service trucks for the past 10 years and every inch counts when it comes to it and every pound counts. So like those little things are, they're, it's just nice that they think about that, right? instead of being stuck with everything set every three inches and whatever, you know. But uh, yeah, overall, it's a nice truck. I'm glad we got to actually come by and, and take a look at it. Well, thank you so much, Todd, hey, for the you. walk around. We appreciate it. Servicetruckaccessories.com for everybody that keeps asking us about where to get stuff from. In case you missed it the first time. We said it. <laughs>